What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, a.k.a. First Name Rage, last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask y'all, please go down there and hit that like button. Hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, we got some breaking news considering... Uh, WB Studios and NRS, man. Some breaking news that I think catches a lot of people's attention that have been paying attention to what's going on with WB and NetherRealm Studios. What breaking news is Rage King referring to? Allow Rage King to show you what's up. Yes, sir. As you see right here on your screen, ain't no optical illusion, ain't no black magic, ain't no Photoshop. This is the real deal, Holyfield, and real spill. Tony La... Excuse me if I butcher this last name. Tony Lazara... A quality assurance analyst software developer for NetherRealm Studios, man. Just dropped this tweet and there's another uh, former employee of NetherRealm Studios that made a similar post to this. The following tweet reads, Good morning, Internet. Unfortunately, yesterday, NetherRealm's mobile team was shut down. A ton of very talented people were put out of work. We had live services on multiple titles such as Mortal Kombat Mobile, Injustice 2, and Mortal Kombat Onslaught. I was also affected. Every single person I've worked with on that team is an amazing collaborator, passionate and very creative. So as you saw right there, y'all, ain't no more MK Mobile. MK Mobile is officially shut down from MK Onslaught to Mortal Kombat Mobile to Injustice 2 Mobile. All anything mobile Mortal Kombat is being officially shut down, man. Big news, big news. It looks like they're going to go a more, a more console-based approach, which I think they should have been doing for the longest. So I am here to ask for your help. I'm literally open to work, quality assurance, customer service, or video editing. Anything remote or in the Chicago area would be terrific. However, I am open to relocating. I very much enjoy being your contact, but I would very much love any assistance meeting and contacting with new people i thank you for your kind words and help things always look dark before the dawn i hope we can get the help the nether realm mobile team we can get the help the nether the nether realm mobile team land back on their feet thank you hashtag open to work that's unfortunate man you never want to see people lose their jobs that are passionate about their jobs man you, you never want to see that especially in this economy especially in this economy where it it literally costs dollars to take a breath. Hold on. I just lost $7 right there just because of that. It's that expensive out here, man. It really is. It really is. And a post here from Elizabeth Ramirez, also known as Nava or Nava, animator at NetherRealm Studios WB Games Discovery. It hurts me to announce I've been laid off from NetherRealm Studios after about 10 years of working there. I will be seeking new opportunities as an animator for games or film. I have experience with animating motion capture in Autodesk Motion Builder, hand key animation in Maya, and processing motion capture data. These types of things I've animated are combat fighting, attacks, characters with weapons, mechanical rigs, and taunts to name a few. I will appreciate any leads and recommendations to other studios. Thank you for the team members that took the time to help me grow as an animator over the years. A new demo reel and resume will be on its way. For now, this is a lot of, excuse me, for now, this is a lot to process mentally, and I need some time to clear my head. And that is the end of the post. So, again, you never want to see people lose their job, especially if they're, they're, they're passionate about their job and they're good at what they do. And it seems like to me that these people were good at what they've done. It's just this seems like a business decision made from WB's Discovery. So anybody that's been covering WB's Discovery, hello, right here. Uh, they've been going through a bit of what you call a major transition. They've merged companies and now they're trying to get back every bit of dollars that they spent on that deal. And from what I've been hearing, they're still, they're making money, but they're still not where they need to be. And shutting down the mobile aspect of it, and I'm, I'm gonna just be honest, this is just me. And to the people that play the mobile Mortal Kombat and Injustices, hey, more power to you. It's nothing that I would ever do. Um, that's what the consoles are for. And I'm, I'm going to also say this. WB, if y'all going to shut down this wing of the gaming company that y'all have in, in NetherRealm Studios at WB Games, um, and y'all going more console-based, then we better see some better products coming to console. 
all right? I don't know how many more times we can put up with a Mortal Kombat 11, a Mortal Kombat 1, a Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, and they all end up being complete disappointments, all right? Now, you truly have no excuse to not have, since you no longer have a mobile wing, console, the console wing, them shits better be damn near flawless. Them shits better be damn near flawless. Again, uh, my condolences out to the people that lost their jobs. You never want to wish people that lost their job. You, you never want to wish people to lose their jobs, especially in this economy. I feel bad for them, and I hope they do land on their feet. But for the ones that are working on the console aspect of it, from now on, them games need to be fucking damn near flawless. They need to be damn near flawless. I, I, all these bugs, all these glitches, all these patches that's breaking more shit than what they fixing. That need that that should no longer be an issue now. That should no longer be an issue. It should no longer be an issue, but with NetherRealm Studios and WB Games, you never know. You just never know. Because it seemed like they, all the, thing, all, the only thing that WB Games really know how to do is how to siphon money and not make a good product. How many times? We literally saw them release multiverses, take it off the shelf, re-release it again, and they're still in a broken buggy state. How the hell you end up doing that? I don't understand how y'all end up doing that. But since y'all don't have to put any resources into the mobile aspect of it anymore... These console games need to come on with the come on. They they, they need to start kicking in now. They, they need to start performing and, and, and playing a hell of a lot better than what they're doing. I don't understand how y'all got a billion dollar corporation and yet you, we all we getting is shitty products from y'all. Shitty products and excuses, but yet you got your hand out for our money. I call bullshit. So again, I'm sorry that this had to happen. Uh, it's really unfortunate that this had to happen. No more mobile uh, aspect. No more mobile wing of... Uh, WB Games at NetherRealm Studios, man, is really unfortunate. But since y'all are going primarily console based now, since you no longer have the mobile wing, these console games need to start getting better. These these console games need to be exponentially better and stop trying to mold them and sell them like they are mobile games. You just had to shut down the wing of the mobile of, of your mobile wing. Don't start making console games like that, much like you did with MK1. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this. As long as y'all remain respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. Rage Game will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.